Everyone has a Mike story. Everyone, Everyone <laughs> loves him in their own way. Family and friends of Mike Zarda are saying goodbye. The local restaurateur died over the weekend following complications from pneumonia. Nathan Vickers shows us one reason why Zarda was much bigger than barbecue. One of Zarda's top managers today grew up with the restaurant, thanks in part to the barbecue man's gesture of kindness. This picture here is pretty fun. Got Mike Zarda. Uh, standing at, at the pit. That is a very young me in the background. Nearly 40 years ago, Terry Heyer was just a teenager who needed a job. As a 15-year-old kid, when you when you walk in, uh, he, he really was larger than life. The restaurant founder taught Heyer the craft. He worked in the kitchen and bus tables. There was a bunch of us here. We call ourselves the Lost Boys, and Mike sort of took us all under his wing. Soon, barbecue became everything. I realized my senior year, I knew that I was going to work for Mike Zarda for the rest of my life. He even thought about skipping college until Zarda found out. He said, well, you're not going to do that. I'm going to let you go if you don't go down and enroll in college. His boss helped him with books and other expenses while Hire worked his way through, befriending local sports figures as Zarda's restaurants expanded. He was a father figure to me. I didn't recognize that at that point, but he clearly was. Now he's the chief operating officer of the company. Mike's spirit was connecting with people. A spirit he'll miss dearly. Just the daily or the the weekly touch that you got from him, I just feel a, a little bit uh, of a void spot. He knows firsthand Zarda's legacy isn't just on a plate. The real simple acts of kindness and love that he did every day, and I think we could use a whole lot more of that. Zarda restaurants will close on Friday to honor the company's founder. In Blue Springs, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.